so you can go to Mr. Pokemon's house. All right, well, let's see what our starters are. No, I don't need you to teach me. Don't teach, oh, she wants me to battle. Like I said, Skittles loves to sing. Favorite song right now is Astronaut. <laughs> Hold up. I just came from town and I was gonna go south because normally there's a patch of grass over here, but they legitimately changed the map in this game. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa! What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm pretty guys. A brand new series today, a brand new Let's Play. It is Pokemon GS Chronicles. I am so excited for this. Let me tell you guys, this is about to be wild. This is a modified version. It's actually a fire red ROM hack, but it takes place of gold and silver, but it's like a totally updated adventure. And just to give you guys an idea of what we're in for here, uh, Pokemon GS Chronicles, there's mega evolutions, gen four through eight in terms of moves, type chart updates, gen eight mechanics, renewed storyline, pokey rides, just a ton of stuff. And I'm so excited to jump into this, guys, because I was thinking about it to myself, like what my favorite Pokemon game was. And I think if I really had to make a decision, I would say it would be Heart Gold, Soul Silver. So having an opportunity to play through the Johto region again with kind of a new re renewed experience and Mega Evolutions, which I'm a huge fanboy. I love Megas, by the way. There's even new Megas in this game, by the way. Um, we're gonna have a blast. So I hope you guys are excited. As always, I need you guys to show the love. Hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can hit 7,500 likes on this video. And you guys know how we do it. I upload videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, bonus episodes on Sunday. This week, it's a little different. It's gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday because of the holiday. But 7,500 likes in the first episode. I know A Drive Army got me. So smash that like button if you haven't yet. And of course, be sure to subscribe. Get those notifications turned on. 8 a.m. uploads as usual. You don't want to miss GS Chronicles, baby. Let's go. I'm so excited, man. I'm so jazzed up about this game. I've heard amazing things. I was talking to my buddy Callum or Hoodlum Callum about this game. He actually just finished up his series of it and he told me it was great. So I'm really stoked to jump into this. And I hope you guys are excited as well. Oh man, I, I just genuinely, like I genuinely just love this region. And it's it's really, oh wow, we even have a new interface here. Uh, it's just really crazy to uh, be able to play through it again, but like a renewed experience. And yeah, it's just gonna be good stuff. So let's pick our name out. Let's get jumped into everything. And uh, I don't even know who my starter is gonna be. This is gonna be wild. But yes, my name is A-Drive and I am ready. And let's go, baby, let's go. And again, what, what makes this weird is this is not based in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, but rather it's a Fire Red ROM hack, which is crazy. Would I like to randomize the species generated? I, I actually don't wanna do a randomizer. I wanna play it to the way that it was designed by the creator. And that's, oh my God, look at that opening scene. Um, I genuinely like to try to play to how the creator makes the game. And I'm gonna talk about the rules real quick, right? So this is a standard Nuzlocke playthrough. You guys already know I always Nuzlocke everything because I need a challenge. So basically you catch the first Pokemon you encounter in every single route, okay? If I fail to catch it, I don't get an encounter there. You nickname all your Pokemon, of course. If a Pokemon faints, you release them. And static encounters are fair game. If I ever find a static encounter, I just grab it. No big deal. Uh, it does not hinder the uh, encounter that I would get otherwise. Doom's Claws is optional. So if I get uh, you know, Magikarp at the beginning of the game, and it dies, and then I find another Magikarp later. I can either choose to keep the Magikarp or catch the next thing, it's whatever. Um, and then, are there any other rules? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see if there's any items in here. I do have a potion. This is a cool little uh, interface here. So that's pretty dope. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh wow, this is definitely different than I thought. Okay, so we've got options, tech speed, battle scene on. I'm gonna play on set battle style, which I always prefer. Um, and then let's pick a nice fancy frame. I'm not a big fan of these frames. Let's go with... Let's go with a nice clean green. Or should I go with something a little different? Let's go with this gold frame right now. I feel like that's solid. Maybe we'll change it later. So it looks like hard cold soul silver to me. Like that's what it looks like, but I'm pretty sure this is built into fire red. So your friend Chris says she was just here. She said that the professor Elm was looking for both of you. She's in such a hurry that she couldn't wait for you. She had to go back. You should get going and see what's going on. By the way, you know where the lab is. It's right next door and you'll know what to do in no time. All right, I work, I work. oh, whoa. Okay, so speed up is a thing. I just pressed the speed up button and it just zoomed me across the screen there. I'm glad to see you. Listen, Professor Elm is looking for you, apparently for something important. You go ahead, I have a few notes that Professor Elm asked me to check. He's short on time these days. I'll see you later, A-Drive. All right, so let's head in and grab our starter Pokemon. 
which I have some serious flashbacks of this scene here, because for those who don't know, yes, 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 yes! I shoddy hunted one of my longest shoddy hunts ever. Oh, I'm so happy! I found a shoddy Cyndaquil. I failed the shoddy Cyndaquil at like 1,200 resets. Over 100 hours for the stupid thing. Then I found Chikorita, but it took me 150 hours to find it. I'm so excited. Oh my god, you're crying. I got the Chikorita. I still have it, by the way. And then I found a Totodile, which took like a couple hundred. It wasn't that bad, so. Or oh, you're finally here. I was starting to worry that you wouldn't come. Why isn't Chris with you? I see. Over the last few days, we've been running an investigation about bonds between humans and Pokemon. We've been running out of time, and my friend Mr. Pokemon has found something for us to investigate. However, we're so busy, and none of us can go to Mr. Pokemon's house. Could you go to Mr. Pokemon's house and bring me whatever he has found? In order to get to Mr. Pokemon's house, you may end up stepping into some tall grass. I want you to be a part of our assistance and research, so I'll lend you a Pokemon from the machine next to me so you can go to Mr. Pokemon's house. All right, well, let's see what our starters are. I think it's the Gen 2 starters. It is Cyndaquil, Chikorita. Oh, boy. So I have to decide, do I want, like, so if I were to pick normally, I would always pick Chikorita. Like, Chikorita's my homie. I would normally pick Chikorita, but that's kind of tricky. I don't necessarily know if I want to Chik like rock Chikorita on this, just because it's a Nuzlocke, and I know it's so bad against the first two gym leaders. Um, and I know that I'm going to struggle otherwise. Like, I'm going to have a massive struggle if I pick Chikorita in this. So I think I'm going to actually go with Totodile. Which I think is a little bit of a surprising choice for me, but I'm gonna take Totodile, which is gonna be a uh, little Irwin here. I, I gotta go with Totodile, man. I think that's cool. So let me know who you would pick, of course. And this will be Irwin, of course, named after the late great Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. Got a rep. So there is Irwin. You gotta love it. How do you like having a Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. All right, so we're gonna head to uh, Mr. Pokemon's house. He can heal us. Don't forget to talk to your mother. Here's my phone number. All that good stuff. You know, the beginning of the game stuff. No problemo. I don't think we have Pokeballs yet, unless he's about to give them to me. I want you to have this for your errand. Oh, he's going to give me a potion. I wonder if Lyra's going to teach me how to catch Pokemon right out the gates. That would be quite nice, though. Oh, so we have running shoes already. So let's go. Oh, there's Lyra. Sorry for what happened before. I was late for checking some notes. What did Elm tell you? Did he seriously ask you to be his assistant? That's cool. Your help will be important for us to discover more secrets about the Pokemon world. If you don't mind, I need to hand in some reports. I'll see ya. All right, so we gotta go talk to mom. Oh, A-Drive, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor L must have given it to you. What kind of task? That sounds a little difficult, but when someone takes that kind of request of you, must be important. Your Pokegear came back from the repair shop. Hey, Smart device developed by Silphco. So we got the Pokegear now. And of course, you can make phone calls and all that good stuff. And let's take a look at Irwin. Looks like he actually is a Jolly Nature. Okay, very good start. Uh, picking up Jolly Nature, bad attack. I love, I love that games are doing this. Radical Red does this as well. And apparently, this game is kind of like a Radical Red of Gen 2, but not as hard. It's still hard. Apparently, it's much harder, but not nearly as hard. That's a really good start, though. And what's the item? An Orange Berry. So nice stuff all around. I love it. Jolly Nature, good pick up there. So, I think, I mean, I probably should explore a little bit, but, yeah, let's, let's, I'll just look around and see if there's anything worthwhile, but otherwise we'll probably just head forward. So, we're on Route 29, but I do not believe we have any sort of Pokeballs. I don't have any Pokeballs, so, uh, I cannot catch anything, so I'm gonna try to, like, skip ahead as best as I can and not run into anything of value, and since I don't have Pokeballs, I can't catch anything, but as you can see, already big differences. We see a Baneri here. Instead of the typical like centrits and stuff like that, and I love the uh, I love the UI in battle too. Uh, kind of very much reminiscent of the Gen 5 UI, and it's a splashing Buneary, so he's really not going to do much to us. I'll just pick up that XP and let's keep moving to Cherry Grove so we can really jump into our adventure here. And here we are in Cherry Grove, and our old rookie trainer assistant here, this old man, he's just going to take me around town, show me everything. Pokemon centers, all that good stuff, no big deal. And he's gonna give me a map card as a result of that, that's pretty cool. So one thing I will say that I just noticed is instead of giving you apricorns, it seems to be berry based, because I'm picking up different berries from the trees as opposed to apricorns. So maybe this game is a little bit different in that regard. And there's an antidote hiding there, geez, that was a little sneaky antidote, all right. All right, into Mr. Pokemon's house. And there's Professor Oak, you must be a drive. Professor Elm said that you would be coming, please wait a bit. What do you got for me? This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. These are rare stones. I found them in one of my trips to Mount Silver. Rare stones, very different. 
probably mega stones. The properties of these rocks are very similar to evolutionary stones, but we don't know anything about them. I was intrigued about them, so I sent an email to Professor Elm. When it comes to Pokemon evolution, Professor Elm is an authority. By the way, I see you look somewhat tired. You should take a rest before you go. I think I'm all right, but thanks. Ah, so you're A-Drive. I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just re visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Elm, so I decided to meet you here. A rare Pokemon. Hmm, I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. You seem to be dependable. This is the latest version of the Pokedex. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. So we're getting everything, man. We got our Pokedex, we got our Poke gear, we got a package to go deliver. He's gonna go do his radio show. I still don't have Pokeballs, so let's head back. Oh, we're getting a call from Elm. It's a disaster, it's terrible, what should I do? Oh no, please get back here now. All right, so we have to battle, I think, very soon. So what I'm gonna do is, since I can't catch anything, I'm just gonna snag a few levels real quick, like maybe one or two levels, and then I'll move forward. And Erwin, who loves to dance around, has uh, a couple new moves. He's got Water Gun, Rage, and Scratch, of course. So, got him up to level eight. That's just to ensure that I don't get wrecked here in this presumable rival battle coming right around the corner. You got a Pokemon in the lab? What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon and I'll show you what I mean. All right, let's see what you got for me, rival. We don't know who his name, what his name is yet. I guess I get to probably choose that. And he just has a Chikorita and it's level five. So I would have been okay either way, but it's, it's probably best to just be safe. Uh, I will go for scratch and I should be able to scratch this thing down. Yeah, and as long as he doesn't have like Razor Leaf, we're fine. That's one of the nice things about Chikorita is it does get Razor Leaf so early and has those different powders. But on a playthrough like this where I know I've got to deal with Bugsy and I've got to deal with Faulkner early game, I just I just couldn't go Chikorita this time. I just couldn't. And Grass type is a lot easier type to get at the beginning of the game. Uh, fire is probably the hardest, but eh, we'll figure that out later. Uh, easy win there for us. And we beat, uh, you know, our rival. Pure Stroke of Lucky says, well, you know, do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. So am I, bro. Give it back. That's my trainer card. Dang, you saw my name. My man just straight up dropping his trainer card right on the floor like it ain't nobody's business. I see you. Ah, uh, the police are here. Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Who made that rule? You must be the one who did it. No, it wasn't me. A-Drive has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Oh, I gotta pick his name now. Uh, why don't I name him Callum, actually? Since, like I said, Hoodlum Callum was kind of the person who, uh, who hooked me up with everything. So, shout out to you, man. I see. So, Callum was his name. Thanks for helping me in my investigation. My next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. I'm intrigued about the boy who stole that Pokemon. Was it, what was the reason for him stealing it? I hope the stolen Pokemon is okay. I'll see you later. All right, so the beauty is, I'm pretty sure now I can actually get Pokeballs. And that is where the real fun starts, in my mind. Wait, they didn't give me Pokeballs. No one gives me Pokeballs? I gotta go find some. Oh, I had to talk to Elm. Uh, this stone may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just a stone. Mr. Pokemon's always fascinated by stones. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secret it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the stone. Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Is that true? That's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of Pokemon, er, uh, people as trainers. Wow, A-Drive, I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokemon seem to really like you, so why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League Champion. Or not. <laughs> Becoming the champion is not at all easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym. Adrot, challenging the gym scattered around will be a long journey, but first you need to catch many Pokemon. Take these Pokeballs. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Thank you. And just remember to do your best and never give up. Okay. How about you? You give me anything now? He doesn't give me anything. Okay. Well, now I have Pokeballs, which means now I get to get my encounter, which means now the real fun begins. Oh, she's gonna teach me how to catch Pokemon, isn't she? No, I don't need you to teach me. Don't teach, oh, she wants me to battle. Okay, so that's different. Normally she's here saying like, yo, let me teach you how to catch a Pokemon. Instead, she's like, yo, let me, and she's got a Shinx. Okay, well then, as you can see, there are gonna be some differences in this game. And uh, I tried not to look up too many spoilers, so please don't spoil for me in the comments. 
Um, but unless I miss something, like if I miss an item or something, you can tell me, but don't spoil gameplay, right? Um, I think we're gonna be okay against this little Shanks here because it's only level five. It's a good thing I grabbed those extra levels. And I'm not even healed up, go figure, right? But this should get us close to level nine after I beat the Shinx. So nice to see some uh, different generation Pokemon showing up. 41 XP, not quite level nine, but that's okay. I didn't know you were that good. Well, you're pretty good with Pokemon. The more trainers you defeat, the more experience you get, and you'll learn new moves. I have a device to make the experience gain easier. And we get the experience share. So one thing I will say, and this is actually something that I could use your advice on, my understanding is the experience share in this game can sometimes be a little bit OP. Um, Callum, I saw, he was really over leveled at the end of his playthrough, and I asked him why, and he said it was just because the experience share. So, I may turn it off. Like, I'm not really sure, but I'll let you guys give me your thoughts on that. Now, the good news is, it's time to get our first encounter. What is it gonna be? Give me something good. <laughs> a Rattata. Okay. I mean, listen. If it's gonna be a Rattata, it's gonna be a Rattata. You know, what, what, are, we, what are you gonna do? Let's just yeet a Pokeball at it. This is a female level three Rattata, which I mean, at least he just, he didn't even stay in the ball, bro. Like, I'm legitimately sitting here like, okay, just, if I knock him out with Scratch, so I'm gonna be really annoyed. Okay. Whew. All right, let's catch this Rattata. <laughs> and then, uh, this is our first team member. So I guess I gotta just, I just, I love it. I love her so much. And we're gonna name her Minnie. Like Minnie Mouse, and Minnie and I are gonna be best friends. So that's that. We're gonna level up to level nine there for Irwin, and we're gonna get this little Rattata. Minnie Mouse. All right, we got little Minnie Mouse. Let's take a look at Minnie here. See how she's doing. Hasty nature, not bad. Pretty good stats, has run away, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, but otherwise, not the worst thing in the world. Okay, well the good news is, again, we have more encounters up ahead, so we can really fill out a team here. Um, there's an encounter to the route north, which could result in some really cool stuff. There's a Sentret, which you could just kind of run from. Uh, there's some really cool stuff up north, so let's take a look up there. Oh, they let you go here, so that's good. This is Route 46. So Route 46 does give us a new encounter, so let's see what that's gonna be. It is... Skitty. It's not my day today, is it? It's not. Skitty is um, not exactly the cream of the crop that I was envisioning to start this. <laughs> but you know what? You work with what you got. You work with what you got on Nuzlocke and Skitty, the tiny kitty, we're gonna work on it together, okay, Skitty? It's said to be difficult to earn its trust. It's extremely popular for how cute its cute looks and its behavior. Okay, Skitty. You and me, you and me, we got this. Taste the rainbow, baby. Skittles, taste the rainbow. For those who don't know, my Skitty is a massive fan of Skittles. And what do you have? A Lepa Berry, okay, I guess that's cool. What do you have? You have Normalize. All moves become normal type. I don't know if they get buffed. Has some pretty solid stats overall. Has Fake Out and Tackle. Okay, maybe maybe I underestimated you a little bit. Maybe, maybe a little bit, I'm not sure, but you know, we'll rock with it. I wonder what else is in this grass that we could have gotten. Skitty. Iggly buff? All right, so I checked the encounters and I was not gonna get much better than Skitty anyway. Maybe Spiro or something. So I don't feel as bad now as I would have before. Quick stop to rest and heal up. And let's grab 10 Pokeballs and hopefully give me, give me a Premier Ball. Yep, perfect. And I've got uh, two potions. I'm just gonna grab like three more. I noticed that there's, this is obviously a fan-made game. There's some glitch on the left-hand side there, but no big deal. Let's get our next encounter up ahead on the upcoming route. Route 30, don't let me down! Caterpie! Okay, I will always take a Caterpie all day, every day. That is A-OK -okay with me. Um, I don't want to quite attack. Let's actually go into Skittles here to attack him. I think that's gonna be a safer bet. And we could be, we should be able to get this low fat here. That does a little bit. We can fake out. There's no way I one shot him with fake out. No, that's fine. He's gonna tackle me. I'm just gonna chuck a Pokeball at it at this point and see if that works, because he's already a little weakened. Okay, so this clearly isn't working. Um, I'll go back into Irwin and then I'll just weaken it a little bit more. Boom! We got the Caterpie, baby. This is gonna be low fat, the Butterfree. And this is a good pickup. Combat Eyes Sleep Powder, always a win. 
Naive nature, shield does some pretty bad stats and has tackle and string shot. So we'll make it work, but you know, not the best stats. I'm gonna heal up and then I'm gonna train everyone up to like level five or six. All right, got some quick levels there on these guys so we can move ahead and try to get some trainer battles. And there's actually like an extension of the route up here too. So we get even another encounter coming up. All right, first trainer, let's see it. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak, come on, let's battle. Bro, really? That, you you really just said that to me? You came in here and said you look weak, dog. What level's your rat? Level five, we're fine. We got low fat out here. Low fat's also level five. He's gonna tail whip. I have to be a little careful because Rattata does hit pretty strong early game just because of, yeah, that's gonna do very little. I'm gonna just play this safe. Let's just go Skittles. Love having fake out early in the game. Uh, that's been really nice actually. And I think anytime in a Nuzlocke type playthrough where you could utilize priority, uh, especially priority like Fake Out where you can flinch and basically get a free hit like that. That's really nice. Cause now I can follow up with Tackle. I'm gonna get Quick Attack to the face. He crits me. Okay, we beat him. <laughs> that got a little sketch for a second there, but Skittles gonna get to level seven. And somehow, some way Skittles is learning Sing. Okay, it's a bit of a YOLO, but you know what? Skittles, as much as Skittles loves to eat Skittles, Skittles also likes to sing. Not very good at it. Usually sings in the shower like most of us, but appreciates the extra reverb and makes it happen. You know, that's all we're gonna say. If I defeat you, my rin rate would be the best of this place, but you're not, you're not gonna defeat me. It's, it's not gonna happen, youngster Mikey and your ladybug. Level three, Mikey, Mikey. I don't know if you realize that the caliber of trainers that you are practicing against up to this point is the equivalent of a wet paper bag in terms of skill level. I don't know if Mikey recognizes this. I'm not sure what Mikey was thinking, but I just wanna let, let him know where he's at, okay? Cause low fat's getting levels, all right? Here comes a, uh, a centric. We are butter free. This is not margarine, ladies and gentlemen, okay? This is butter free. Well, it's gonna be. Low fat. You know what I'm saying? Oh boy. All right, well, let's not get knocked out right now. Let's go to Minnie Mouse. Cause we're all going down to Disney together. I'm going to Disney. Guys, if you get, seriously though, like my dad told me that if you guys get 7,500 likes on this video, he's taking me to Disney, okay? All right? So there you go, Minnie, good stuff. Easy peasy, Mikey, get out of here. All right. I probably should heal, because there could be some tough trainers up ahead, but I'm kind of feeling a little bit of, yeah, let me let me actually potion real quick. Ooh, a bug catcher. Bug catcher Don in your Caterpie. Oh, he has a net ball too, I like that. Nice little touch, giving him a net ball. And he's got a Weedle, which I would quite like to find actually. I would really, really appreciate finding a Weedle, um, especially knowing that there's Megas in this game. I really want a Weedle. He does snag the poison, which means I have to switch out now. Kind of frustrating, but that's okay. Um, the good news is low fat can't be poisoned from poison sting because it has shield dust. So it's a pretty safe bet here. And not quite enough for low fat to evolve there. We're getting real close though. Some bug Pokemon only appear at night. Okay, so that is one thing I did read in the documentation that I want to mention. Because of that, we don't know if, uh, you know, some Pokemon are during the day, some are at night. I may end up doing some shenanigans where I'll play sometimes at nighttime and sometimes I'll play during the day and things like that. So just, there was a little glitch tile there. That's interesting. I wonder if you can get an encounter in this glitched patch of grass. I probably shouldn't be messing around. I probably should save the game before it crashes on me, but that's okay. Are you a trainer? You're a prodigy trainer, so you need good trainers to improve your skill. Wait, you defeated everyone in the route? Finally, somebody's competitive. My baby Pokemon will make you cry. Oh boy, I was not ready for this. I was not ready for this. She's got three Pokemon, kicking it off with an Igly buff level. Okay, it's level five. <laughs> I, got, I got all worked up for a level five Igly buff. Okay. Really? That's what we're doing out here? That's what we're doing? All right, fair enough, fair enough. Into Skittles I go. Into Skittles I go. Skittles can sing too. Gonna switch out the Igly buff. Into a Cleffa, bold strategy. Like I said, Skittles loves to sing. Favorite song right now is Astronaut. <laughs> We're astronauts in the ocean. Feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Hit it, baby! Let's go. Actually, he likes to sing the Pokemon Journeys theme song right now. 
The journey starts today. My daughter loves that. It is just, it's a wonderful thing. But Skittles, listen, if you're gonna hit your sings like that, I'm all about it. I love it. That's great stuff. Big fan here, big fan for Skittles. I love the switching too. You don't see that often. They don't They don't normally have games where these, these trainers are swapping around like it's their job right now. Gonna go for the charm to drop our attack stat. Okay, which means Skittles probably has to get out of here. Gonna switch back out the Cleffa. So many switches into Mime Jr. Bold strategy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you to sleep. Skittles doesn't miss. So good with their vocals. So good with the vocal Skittles. You gotta love it. All right, so we are charmed. So because of that, I would love to go mini, but I think we just uh, bust out our, our Irwin card here. Crikey, mate. And uh, <laughs> the switches. What are these? At least we know the AI is serious, guys. Like, at least we know it's serious because they're switching around like crazy. This is a prodigy trainer, by the way. Let's not forget that. Here comes the Mime Jr. Everything's asleep. Everything's taking naps. Water gun should do quite a bit. Scratch probably would have done more. Gonna copycat my water gun. All right. I respect. Does one HP. One. One. Erwin's eating that like the mini muffins he had for breakfast right there. And last Chica goes down, says, come on, don't be mean. Maybe you're not that bad. As an apology, take this technique I used in battle. Return? You're giving me return right now? Do you know what you just did? In the ocean. You you know you know what you just did? That was that was a mistake. I will gladly take return on my squad of normal types. Mini can learn return. It may not be that good right now, but like it will be. It will be. It'll be good. And now we are on Route 31, and this is a new encounter. So I think what I want to do is I think I want to do this one as a nighttime encounter. So let's let's actually flip it up. Let's see if we can get a nighttime encounter now. All right, let's grab that nighttime encounter here on Route 31 and see what we are gonna get. It's a Nidoran female. Oh my god, this team is just a bunch. It's a bunch of female Pokemon. Okay. Um, I don't think Scratch will knock it out, so we should be okay. Yeah, that's fine. Nidoran's actually not a bad pickup. It turns into a Ground type later. It's a bulky Poison type. Um, probably just safer to just chuck a Pokeball at it and hopefully we catch it. All right, that was pretty easy. We got the Nidoran female and we can add it to our team. The nice thing is you can get a Nido Queen pretty quickly. So this could end up being one of our strongest Pokemon. And we're gonna name her Queen Cersei after Cersei Lannister, of course. And let's take a look at the Queen. Our newest member, Brave Nature. Rivalry, which is gonna boost its uh, attack against males. And it has Scratch and Growl, so nothing too crazy there. If I had a bright ride, I could go to Blackthorn City. This cave is extremely dark inside. Well, the good news is we have an encounter in this cave. So let's go find out what it's gonna be. The Dark Cave. Now the Dark Cave, I have great memories of as a kid coming in here to get, uh, you know, Dunsparce being the rare thing. But uh, also this is a great place to get a Geodude or a Zubat or something like that. So hopefully we'll find something That'll be strong for us moving forward. And it is gonna be a Zubat! Ah! I am the biggest Zubat fan in the world. You guys have no idea. Maybe not the biggest Zubat. Oh God, I thought I was gonna crit him. Maybe not the biggest Zubat fan in the world, but a massive fan of Crobat. Uh, probably my one of my favorite, if not my favorite non-bug Pokemon. Ah, uh, so good. Oh, by the way, now that I'm thinking about it, I, I broke down the rules at the beginning of this, the, the episode. I always do a shiny claws rule as well. So if I find a shiny, we'll catch it and we can add it to our team. Um, that That's always fair game. Uh, and it doesn't happen too often, but when it does, it's always sweet. But this is gonna be a male Zubat and this is gonna be the Wingman. And Wingman may prove to be a crucial member of the squad. Let's see what you're working with. Gentle nature, inner focus, very bad stats, has absorb and supersonic. So nothing too good there, but I'm just excited to have him, to be honest. And we found a Moonstone! Yo, that's so hype! Just as I was saying how easy it could be to evolve our Nido, Cersei. Oh, we could have had a Why Not Dog! Crikey, mate! I probably can't even run. Yeah, this actually could be bad. He may not have the Mirror Coat and Counter yet. 
Let's go splash. Dude, it would have been amazing to have a wine on. I'm actually kind of jealous. Charm. I mean, it wouldn't have been very strong, but it would have been really cool. I'm not gonna lie. That's all right, though. I'll take what I got. I got a Zubat. I gotta just be happy. I have my, my Wingman. I got my Wingman. That's all we want. But I have a Moonstone now as well. Pretty cool stuff in the Dark Cave. Psst. Hey, you! Stop there! Who's this? What do you want from me? I do apologize for suddenly stopping you. I'm a humble man who saw you defeating all those low rank trainers and I couldn't resist to offer you these nutritious slowpoke tails for an affordable price. You interested, lad? What, illegal? Absolutely no. I work for an honest group of dealers who just want to offer good items to trainers. Trust me, lad. You don't want to trust me? Then get punished. Well, I guess there's no, there's no, um, whatchamacallit? No breaks in this game. We have to pretty much always be prepared for battles because they seem to come up out of nowhere. Here is an Apom. We should be A-OK -okay against Apom though. I'll water gun him. He's gonna tail whip me. So what I'll do is I'll water gun one more time and then I'll probably swap out and give someone else some XP. Maybe evolve low fat or something. I gotta see what, what everything has for health. Sand attack. And it doesn't look like crits do double in this game. It looks like they're doing 1.5, but I'll have to check that. Um, Skittle seems like the best bet to give the XP to. Uh, because low fat's asleep and everyone else is kind of struggling. I could go Cersei, but I don't know if Cersei's gonna get the KO. So let's let's just go Skittles here. And we'll get this uh this easy battle. There's a tail whip coming off. That should be fine. I just fake out. We should be good to go. So let's hit that fake out real quick. Bye-bye, Apom. So they've added a handful of battles, as we can see, and I, I quite like the update because it makes the routes a little bit more um involved. So we beat Super Nerd Mick. I will remember this. I'm telling my partners about this. You'll regret turning down my offer you hear. Okay, well now it seems as though we're gonna run into them more frequently. That's for sure. All right, so experience share is selected. Now it's on. Okay, so I had it off. I'm gonna keep it off for now. And we got some Parasim Berries for confusion. Oh, she's gonna teach me Covet, which is actually perfect. Covet is actually a really cool move. It allows us to steal items from wild Pokemon. And it's base 60, so it's actually stronger than Tackle, too. So this is really good for both Mini and Skittles. All right, so now Mini and Skittles have Covet, which I'm actually kind of excited about because I can use them to steal items from wild Pokemon or even trainers. A man with black clothes is walking around here, but I have a lot of Bug-type Pokemon who can battle anyone. Man with black clothes. I wonder who that is. Bug Catcher Wade kicking it off with a Lettyba. I think, yeah, we're just gonna thrash Wade right now. He has a Burmy, though! I just been obliterating his entire team with Covet, but he does have a Burmy, which is a welcome sight. And he just keeps protecting. Okay, you're gone, Burmy. I am curious though, what I can steal from wild Pokemon with Covet. Like I'm very interested in that. Oh, there's something here. Frustration. So we get the TM for frustration as well. And a hard scale. Interesting pickup. And we're in Violet City. Hey there, kid. Are you taking on the Pokemon gym challenge? That's great. I'm Primo. You may know me from my TV show, The Show. I see you haven't earned a single badge. You'll need to catch plenty of Pokemon before you take the gym challenge. Have some special Pokeballs to make this easier. Oh, nice. Thanks, bro. Primo! Don't forget to always have Pokeballs in your bag. I'll go to back to Goldenrod to record my next episode. People in this town are nice. Whoa, Team Rocket just ran away. What was that? I just came out on this route because I was like, oh, I wonder what's over here. And then Team Rocket just ran away. So Team Rocket's definitely evolved. We've seen them, well, we've seen them once, but uh, the other person on the previous route saw them. This is level nine Elekid and I might have gotten ahead of myself here because these trainers are definitely stronger than what I was just facing. I'm gonna flinch him and then I'm gonna go for Covet. He's gonna leer. I think we're gonna be okay just because, you know, Elekid's pretty frail, but if he has Thunder Punch, he's gonna do a lot of damage. He's got static, so I have to switch out. Um. I think, oof. I think I go Irwin even though I'm weak to electric moves. He has low kick. Okay, we're fine against that. I'm gonna go for a water gun. Oh, he has leer. Dude, if he had thunder punch, I feel like he would have run run through my team. I'm not even gonna lie. Elekid is a baby Pokemon, but it's a, oh, he's still, he's still around. He has thunder shock. Oh, that was, that was a little too close for comfort. 
That was a little too close for comfort. Okay. Skittles gets to level 9. Erwin's gonna get to level 11. But that was a little close for comfort for me. And we're gonna beat Picnic or Dahlia. I'm gonna get out of here. So I do have an encounter on this route. I need to head back though. I clearly am gonna save that encounter. Um, and, and I need to go to the trainer school next. Into the trainer school we go. Oh, he's gonna hook us up with the scope lens to incre increase our critical hit ratio. So that's really nice, that's a good pickup. Nobody on the other team really benefits from critical hits yet, but I'm gonna give it to Skittles for now. Just kidding, I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna give it to Erwin because Skittles has Covet, so probably should be smart there. Oh wow, they changed the map! Hold up! I just came from town and I was gonna go south because normally there's a patch of grass over here, but they legitimately changed the map in this game. So that's very interesting and that could change a lot of things for us moving forward. I think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna wrap up this episode here, but on the next episode, we're gonna be taking on Sprout Tower, probably grabbing that other encounter in the grass, and then ultimately taking on Faulkner would be my guess. But I hope you guys enjoyed this brand new series, Pokemon GS Chronicles, a new version of Pokemon Gold and Silver, basically, with tons of changes to it, as you can see already. And I'm really excited for this journey. We've got a super cool team already, all that good stuff. So smash that like button if you guys haven't done so yet. 7,500 likes is your like goal for this one. I know you guys can do it. There's actually gonna be a new episode tomorrow, and then we're gonna get back on track of a, a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Like I said, normally I would do that, but it's Tuesday the day this goes up because of the holiday. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, bonus episode Sunday. Don't miss out on this amazing version of Pokemon Gold and Silver Modified. Super stoked about it. I hope you guys are too. My name is Dan. I also go by A Drive, and I will see you guys on the next episode of GS Chronicles Nuzlocke. Peace. Feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Butterfree, go!